What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm quite excited to talk to you about this fragrance. I've been spending time with it sporadically. I just wore it as my scent of the day at the recording of this as well. And um, it's ridiculously great for what you'll pay. Going rate for this fragrance is in the $45 range from most discounters. We are talking about from Afnan. This is Supremacy in Oud. Their higher end clone version of Oud for Greatness from Anishio. Let's discuss. Stay tuned. So as far as this scent is concerned, this opens up beautifully pungent. I know that's kind of strange. Let me explain. So there is a nice hit of oud here. There's a leathery feel, an animalic leathery feel, and I believe that to be from the saffron note. Saffron can come across very leathery, and honestly, the saffron they've been using in this line, as well as in not only Intense, makes the fragrances come across with this animalic leather. You definitely get that here. The sweet notes that they have in the heart really stand out and it's very bright and aromatic. So everything you see in the note breakdown, you kind of get. The nutmeg does provide a nice hit of spice. It doesn't dry the scent profile out too much because a heavy dose of nutmeg can make for a dry wood spice type of smell. I do have a pretty fresh spray on my hand, but the oud dominates this. I mean, it's an oud in the name, it's oud in the name of the clone, and the accuracy is on freaking point. I'm a, I have my second decant that I don't know where the hell it's at of oud for greatness, so I'm very familiar with the scent profile. And I gotta say, they nailed this. This is a home run as far as accuracy, richness, quality, and performance, which we will talk about performance in a little bit. But as it starts to dry down, there's a little bit of this earthy, almost rich and chocolatey type of feel from the patchouli that's in this fragrance. It's very lovely. The oud never seems to go away. That leathery feel just kind of settles down greatly. It's a little bit of a musky feel, uh, but more animalic musky type of tone, if you will, but not a lot of it. Not a lot of it. But the patchouli definitely dominates the dry down in my experience. You get a warm, spicy feel with a lot of this kind of mass appealing designer level smelling oud. It doesn't come across as the most natural, but then again, it doesn't come across as the most synthetic of oud smells either. It's kind of unique to the fragrance. A lot of people will compare it to maybe Baccarat Rouge 540 plus oud. And as it settles in and becomes more spicy, I can kind of see where they're coming from. I don't think it smells that close to it, but I can kind of get faint resemblances to what others are talking about when they throw Baccarat Rouge 540 in there in comparison so it's definitely a gorgeous smell not a challenging oud one of the more mass appealing oud fragrances out there this is going to sound strange if there's such a thing as a blue oud fragrance it's probably the oud for greatness scent profile and afnan nailed it i've been so impressed with afnan as a house their quality is great their accuracy for the most part with most of their scents in the supremacy line is great as well. Supremacy Silver, great clone of Creed Aventus. Not only intense, kind of more so its own thing because it's such a black currant oak moss leathery bomb, but it does have a very strong Creed Aventus hit. A little touch of Hasavat in there, but it's more so kind of veering the path off of being somewhat of its own thing, but the quality is on point and the performance is lights out. Let's talk about performance. Longevity, it's gonna stay on your skin until you scrub it off. It's an extra de parfum. I don't know the oil concentration. So that could be anywhere from 25% on up. Because once you hit 25%, you're at pure parfum, extra de parfum, parfum, pure perfume, all the different ways to say it. It all means the same damn thing. Once you hit 25%, you're at a parfum concentration. So it's anywhere from there on up. It may be a little bit higher because the projection here, is pretty stout, so it might not be too high because it, the heavier it wears, 
the less it's going to project, but the sillage will be incredible. And here you do have an incredible sillage. This is not a moderate. This is not a moderate to mild. This is a heavy sillage. It surrounds you. It's lingering. It's a strong trail. This is a powerful fragrance. If you're looking for a ridiculous beast that's cheap, this is it. And look, we're in the middle of summer here in Colorado Springs. Admittedly, it was a lightly rainy, mild day around 70 degrees. So it was an ideal time for me to wear it. Um, you got to sneak it in when you can, when you want to wear stuff, heavier fragrances like this in the summertime. And the performance, like I said, it's 12 plus hours easily in longevity. Projection, heavy side. If you spray this one heavy, you're filling a room. No doubt about it. If you're moderate with the sprays, I do five sprays when I wear this fragrance. It's still borderline filling a room. It's beyond arm's reach, well out there in the first two hours. Very, very stout projection. And then the remainder of the way, it's a very strong, heavy sillage. This is one of the better performing fragrances I've reviewed as of late. And I know it's very important to a lot of you guys. Like I said, $45, $50 range will get you a lights out performer that is high in quality. Accuracy of scent is there for what it's cloning. It's just, and just judging it as a standalone, it's as bang for your buck as it gets from scent profile and performance. My final thoughts on this one, believe it or not, I think this is even better than Not Only Intense. And Not Only Intense is an amazing fragrance from them. They definitely upped the ante with this one. I don't know which one came out first, but I got Not Only Intense before I got this one. So I was able to spend time with that one and judge it accordingly. This being the follow-up to it in their higher tier in the Supremacy line, which I don't know what the third, the next go-round will be, but... The two I've tried so far from their higher tier, not just Supremacy Silver and Gold and all those other ones, this is really freaking good. So much so that I haven't given a 9 out of 10 in a long time, and Supremacy and Oud is a 9 out of 10 fragrance. This stuff's awesome. This is phenomenal. This is something that people need to try. If you're looking for the ultimate version of Oud for Greatness without spending Oud for Greatness money, I think this is it. I have a few other Oud for Greatness clones, handful or so. All really good stuff. Montagna Parfums, Essential Obsessions, a variety of them. All very good clones of Oud for Greatness. This is the king of the hill. This is the best Oud for Greatness clone I've ever smelled. Like I said, performance is lights freaking out. The scent quality is top tier. I mean, this is in that luxury niche quality tier. The quality is that damn good to my nose. And the scent profile just smells amazing. I've always liked Oud for Greatness. Like I said, it's kind of the blue fragrances of the Oud fragrances because it's just so mass appealing and enjoyable to wear. It's one of the more easy to wear Ouds that can still make a statement and still pull some freaking compliments. So I stand by this. Nine out of ten. Well, that's my thoughts, feelings, and experience with Supremacy and Oud, Afnan's clone of Oud for Greatness, and a great one at that. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried this? What do you think about it? Because I think they did a fan damn job. Like I said, Afnan continues to impress me. I have yet to try a mediocre fragrance from them. Everything has been very good or better. And I've got like six or seven fragrances from them at this point. Uh, most of them in the Supremacy line. And they're just doing really good work. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Supremacy and Oud from Afnan and you give it a spray now... Really damn confident you'll thank me later. They hit a home run with this. Have a good one, guys.